planning to make Simplicity 9755. I want to make the top. And I've made it before and I really like it. So I decided to go ahead and make it again in this army green denim. The only change that I made when I cut out all the pieces is that I made sure to lengthen all the pieces that need to be lengthened in order for the top to be like an inch and a half longer. I'm almost done with the top, but this is why I wanted a top in this fabric is because I have these Nomi pants in the same fabric and then I have this McCall's skirt in the same fabric. So I wanted to pin these garments to the dress form with the top just to kind of get an idea of how it would look together. Here is the skirt with the top. I need to secure the front placket and then put the buttons on. And these are the buttons that I picked up from Hobby Lobby to match the top. Here is the top paired with the skirt. And I did add an additional button. So there are five buttons instead of four. I have this really pretty fabric here from Joanne Fabrics. It is a tinsel fabric and I pressed it and I used some spray starch on it and the spray starch kind of went all over the place and it came out a little strong. And now I have these spots all over the fabric, but I'm going to press on and hopefully once the dress that I'm planning to make is all done, the spots will come out. I decided to look it up and see how to care for tinsel. And right here you can see it says, do not use any spray on starch or softeners. I got so scared thinking that I ruined my fabric. I threw it in the washing machine right away and then I started staring it up and down to see if I'd ruined it. I'm looking around. I cannot really tell if there are any spots, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry and then see what happens. Fingers crossed. I ended up putting my fabric in the dryer on low and I am so happy to report there are no spots. Everything came out. Oh, that was such a close call. My plan is to sew Simplicity 9746 with the tinsel fabric and I want to make this view right here, view B. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a size eight. The back of the envelope says that this is an easy pattern. There are some tears, which may take a little while, but other than that, I think it should be pretty simple, so we'll see. There are nine pattern pieces to cut out for view B. The dress does have pockets, and there is elastic that goes around the waist. I am thinking I'm not going to put elastic around the waist for my dress. I have folded some tracing paper, and what I'm going to do is cut out this skirt front and back on the fold. So this is on the fold and then the paper is on the fold. And that way when I open this up, it'll be one whole piece. And I'm doing this because I want to attach this piece to the front and back upper portion of the dress. And that is going to be how I plan to eliminate the middle seam of the dress. I'm going to take this piece that I just cut out and I'm going to attach it to the back and also attach it to the front. So I'll probably just tape it together here and tape it together here and here, these two together, and then cut it out in one big piece. And that way there won't be a seam going through the middle of the dress. Here are the front and back pieces without having to put in the middle seam. And now I just hope I still have enough fabric for all the tiers. I am definitely a little short on fabric now. I should have purchased a little more, but since I didn't, this lower ruffle was supposed to be cut out five times on the fold but I only have enough to get it cut out four times on the fold. So I'm gonna do that and then see if I can just make it work. I may have to just loosen up my gathers. So hopefully everything will be okay. I added my basting stitches to the top of the front and the back. This is gonna be the neckline area. And then this armhole area will be finished with bias tape. I just finished doing some hand stitching around the band and I've decided not to add pockets. So now I can just go ahead and start working on the tiers. 
I'm gathering around the lower tier or the lower ruffle and this piece is really really long so even though I cut out four pieces instead of five I think it's gonna fit just fine Did you use your other little one that I gave you? Yes. You did? Does it work? It works really well. That's good. I use it a lot. I like it. Oh, it's so good. convenient. You it's know, having it right there inside. Really? I think I'm going to use this blade. I don't know the difference though. But maybe this will chop it up finer. Oh, wait. I have to put the ingredients in first yeah. and then. I have a few spells. Yep, yep. That's right. What I did was I put one in my bathroom mm -hmm. in the um, the little closet I have in there. You put one of those hanging things. Uh -huh. They come in a pack of two from um, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love yeah. some Amazon. I love So we were talking about a way to organize the pantry. So I'm gonna show you these little things that you can hang on the door and put some things in there to keep your pantry all organized. I love drinking my smoothies with a straw. So it came out a little thick, but I think it's gonna be good. My smoothies come out different every time. They don't always taste the same, and I'm sure it's because I don't measure, so I just kinda throw some things in there and mix it up, and then I get whatever I get. I get whatever I get. Let me show you this pantry. Those over the door hangers are so convenient. I've seen them sold at Ikea. I don't know if they have them at Target. But I can see putting one of those in a sewing room, like on the back of the door in the sewing room. And then you could put a bunch of things in the pockets and kind of organize some things. That's interesting. So I'll look on Amazon and find a link and I'll put it below if you're interested. I'm in Target picking up a few items that I desperately need, especially that mouthwash. Oh, and my dentist said to get some mouthwash that is alcohol-free, so I just picked this one up. But they did have others that you could choose from with no alcohol. <laughs> 